Well, I think his legacy is obviously, if he could have won two Super Bowls, that would have helped. But it's going to be more the numbers and uh, the records uh, that he has. Now, the way the game is called and played today, I'm not saying no one's going to have a chance uh, to, to break those records. Uh, but, you know, I don't think players are going to play as long. It's so much money involved that you might see a player, uh, maybe I'm tired of getting beat up, play 10 or 12 years, but maybe not 18 to 20 years uh, to have those records. I think it's very similar that uh, how Peyton Manning took advantage of his opportunity uh, as far as uh, stats and numbers and uh, winning seasons. Uh, I think you definitely have that uh, with Drew Brees. And obviously, uh, you know, Peyton winning a couple of Super Bowls and uh, with Tom Brady and all the multiple Super Bowls he won, that's how they're going to separate Drew from uh, from those guys. But as far as the numbers, when you go look at, like, uh, yardage, and uh, uh, off the top of my head, I, I, I look, 5,000 yards, what he did that, four times and four times. I mean, he he's in the record books, uh, not one handful, at least two handfuls, if not a dozen different areas as far as playing the quarterback position. So he's going to be amongst the best. I don't know if they'll uh, put him in the top five. I think for sure he's in the top ten. Uh, the top five, there's a lot of argument when you look at the history, and I think what might hinder him uh, is only winning one Super Bowl. And then, uh, you know, then people look at overall physical skill. I, I would say he might be the greatest NFL quarterback of all time as far as working with what he has because Drew Brees is not – the type quarterback that if you saw him walking on the street, oh, he must be a pro football player. It's not something you punch in the computer and out would come uh, Drew Brees. I mean, I'm not saying he was an overachiever, but um, he might be very like a Russell Wilson-like, maybe when Russell Wilson's career is all, all done. There's few and far between those size guys that are, that will have uh, the recognition that they deserve uh, what they accomplish in the National Football League. Bobby, you played the position. What did you admire most about Drew Brees' ability on the field, operating and running the team as a quarterback? I would say his overall uh, leadership, you can't coach that. Uh, that has to come from within. Uh, I would say his work ethic, and work ethic is a year-round thing, uh, how he trained and how hard uh, that is to, to keep that fire in the belly and to keep that going. Uh, for, for 20 years, uh, that's hard to do. And uh, really another thing, I don't care if you throw it a country mile, you can throw it 80, 90 yards, are you accurate with the football? And that's one thing. He's he's going to be in the argument now to me because he has the uh, completion percentage records. Even though the rules have changed, he's to me the most accurate quarterback in NFL history. It's only because, uh, what does he have? I, I don't have my notes in front of me, but what, three out of the top five, or it might be four out of five and the most highest completion percentage in a season. And that's hard to do week in and week out, considering when defenses know what you want to do and they game plan, game plan for you and you're still able uh, to complete passes on that level. It's not like you had a completion percentage for a month at a high level because then teams figure out what you're trying to do. Drew did that year in and year out, which to me is truly amazing. 